Whether you want to share funny moments, watch snaps together with friends, or simply enjoy a larger viewing experience, in today's tech video, I'm going to show you how to bring the excitement of Snapchat to the big screen of your Skyworth Smart TV. Let's say that you have a device with a small display like a phone or a tablet and you want to watch videos on the bigger screen. You can do this by using your TV as an external monitor for your device. I'm going to show you three different ways of how to use your phone to get Snapchat on your TV. For this demonstration, I will be using an iPhone. This will work on any model of TV and any year of TV. You just have to have an HDMI connection to plug into. Let's dive into this. The first way to get Snapchat on your TV with an iPhone is using a Roku device. Here are those instructions. First thing that you're going to want to do is grab your remote control, hit the home button on it. If you're not already there, this is the home screen. And you're going to want to make sure that your Roku is all the way up to date on its latest firmware. So you're going to want to go down to system, click over, and then go to system update and then click OK and then to check now it'll make sure that it's on its latest software update. Once you have that established go ahead and click the home button again take you to the home screen and we're going to go back down to settings click over and then once you're here you're going to click on Apple AirPlay and HomeKit this is something new that Roku has implemented on all their devices and what you're going to want to do is click on that. It'll take you to the AirPlay screen. Now it is available on all Roku devices except the very lowest Roku device. I'm not sure what that one's called, um, but most of your devices will have this. If not, you might have to upgrade to the next one up. All right, once you're on this screen here, AirPlay settings, make sure that both your, your iPad and your Roku device are both on the same Wi-Fi in order for this to work. Make sure that AirPlay over here on the top right column is on. Right here on require code. I have mine set on first time only. If you click on that, you'll see that it's first time only every time or use password. So that's all based on preference. Since I'm the only one using this TV, first time only is plenty for me. Okay, once you're on there, okay, we're going to go over to our iPad here. And on the top right corner, you're going to swipe down and it brings up this menu icon here and you'll see where it says screen mirroring you'll tap on that and then right away um, I have two of them that show up but right there it says Roku streaming stick Roku streaming stick I'll tap on that it starts thinking okay and it's asking for the code that is on the TV there so mine's 3393 yours will be different 339 three and then I'll click OK. It starts thinking there's a check mark now and as you can see it is mirroring exactly what's on my T or what's on my iPad is on my TV now. And if you want to stop mirroring that's where you would select the stop mirroring button right there on your iPad. But uh, now you'll be able to mirror everything that's on your iPad there. If you want to watch YouTube videos, uh, here's the wonderful thing about it. If you are watching a video, most of the time you have to go in landscape mode like that to utilize uh, the video, but you can still hold it just like this and it'll play in landscape mode on the TV. So that's the beauty of Apple AirPlay. The second way to get Snapchat on your TV using an iPhone is to use an Amazon Fire Stick or any of the Amazon streaming devices. Here are the instructions for this way. So here's a step-by-step -step instructions on how to mirror anything that you've got going on on your iPhone to your Fire TV right here, so or your Fire Stick. So well, the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to your magnifying glass over here, and then you're going to want to type in A Power Mirror. Okay, and it comes up right here, A Power Mirror. And you should get that icon that looks that's right there. Okay, it'll take you to this screen here, and then you'll go ahead and click OK on your remote control to download it. Once it's installed, go ahead and click open, and it'll take you to this screen here. Uh, you have to allow access of A Power Mirror to access your photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on allow. We're gonna go to the second tab right here where it says phone screen mirroring, and then click on that. It'll take you to this QR code over here on the left. All you want to do is just open up 
the uh, picture taking app on your iPhone and then go over and scan it and then as soon as you scan it it'll have the QR code reader so you just tap on that and it'll automatically take you to your iPhone so that way you can download the A power mirroring screen app so all right and then we'll go ahead and click open and now I ask you a question a power mirror would like to find and connect devices on your local network uh, you want to click OK because both of these have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network all right so it's asking for network permission and location permission just go ahead and click on continue and then allow while using app so there it goes and now it's recognizing Wi-Fi connection click on that middle button where it says mirror and now it's searching for your Wi-Fi network and then it's got an icon here that says A Power Mirror. Next, what you want to do is swipe down on the top right corner of your iPhone just like this. It'll bring up all these different options and then right there in the middle you'll see where it says Screen Mirroring. You'll tap on that and as you can see right here at the very top it's got A Power Soft and that is what is powering or talking with the app that you just downloaded on your Fire Stick. So then you just click on that It'll load up and as you can see, we are now mirroring directly to the TV. The last way to get Snapchat on your TV with an iPhone, probably the easiest of the three, but that's also the most costly and that's using an Apple TV 4K. Here are the instructions on using this device. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your, your Apple TV 4K all set up and went through all the steps of getting it all uh, installed and put together and attached to your iCloud account. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is grab your remote control, which looks like this right here. All right, and then go ahead and go down to the settings right here and then click on that. And what you're going to want to do is go to that fourth tab right there that says AirPlay and HomeKit and then click on that. All right, so go ahead and make sure that your AirPlay is turned on. Uh, some of you guys, when you get you first get this set up, you may have to get it connected with your iPhone. And the way that they do this is you have to make sure that your iPhone is unlocked and you got to hold it near your Apple TV. And then it'll automatically pair. It's, it's pretty magical how they do that. I, I mean, it recognizes that your phone is near the, the Apple TV and then it automatically starts syncing together. And then you just got to give it the approval to uh, access your phone. But once you do have it, uh, make sure that your AirPlay setting is on right here. And it'll ask you to name it, uh, your Apple TV 4K to whatever room that you have it in. And then here on the Allow Access, there's a few different... Um, there's a few different options here that you can choose. You can go to everyone, anyone on the same network. Only people that are sharing this home require a password on, and then you'll create a password, and then also allow nearby to AirPlay. So that's all based on preference on whichever one that you want to do. But once you have that selected, go ahead and go back. Make sure that that AirPlay is on. Now that it's on, we're going to have you go ahead and grab your iPhone. Okay, go ahead and grab your iPhone, and then make sure that it's unlocked. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to swipe down from the top right corner, just like so, so that it brings up this menu right here. And then you'll see right here where my thumb is, it says screen mirroring. So then you'll tap on that, and it automatically recognizes the Apple TV nearby. All you do is tap on that, it starts to think, and then voila, it's mirroring right to your TV. So that's the easy way to mirror your iPhone to your TV using Apple TV 4K. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I would love to have you back in the next one. Take care.